What's going on, Guardians? It's Tizzle here. So enough of you commented on the Titan solo clear that you wouldn't mind seeing the other characters. So I'm going to do my best to bring those to you. So this is my Hunter clear. Uh, go kind, be kind, please. Uh, I was going to say go easy on me. The gameplay is not the best. Uh, I haven't ran sh Shards of Galanor since its rework, and I thought it might be really good here. And then, so if you noticed on the load in, I have triple solar reserves. That allows me to load in with 34 Xenophage ammo instead of 28. And it just so happens that 38 is pretty much perfect to clear out all the rooms before the boss. So um, yeah, Xenophage is really good in here if you use it like I do. Like one shot on him, a few shots here. If you get lucky and get an ammo brick, then you'll definitely be fine. But uh, yeah, it's really good. So I might repeat myself a bit from the last video, just because I know not everyone watches every single video in its entirety. Uh, but I just want to talk about the Whisper a little bit. Uh, one thing is, well, I mentioned that his voice definitely sounds different, Zol's. And yeah, some other people in the comments agreed, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But yeah, I was going to say, I don't have Stompies on in this, and I only have like 30 or 50 mobility or something. So you do not need Stompies, though if you're used to jumping puzzles with Stompies, then it could certainly help. Uh, this jump here, sometimes it will eat your first jump, so just be very careful. Luckily it didn't for me. And then uh, this little rock wall, you can see little dark things in front of you, and that is where the rocks poke out. So just wait for it to retreat, and as it retreats, that's when you want to start moving. There's a little bit of forgiveness, but the last one used to be like really quick. So you'd pretty much have to like run up against it. So I'm using the trust hand cannon from Gambit. Uh, I've always liked this hand cannon. I don't know if it rolls with explosive payload, but that would definitely be better for this mission. I just wanted to run a different solar hand cannon because I know not everyone has, um, well, Igneous Hammer for sure from Trials, but even Zowley's Bane from King's Fall. Like, I, I love that hand cannon. I run it like crazy. Sunshot would also go very well here if you're using a, uh, a legendary heavy weapon. Sunshot would be really good, but I tend to use exotic heavy weapons. I use Dragon's Breath. If you watched my Titan video, uh, that was my first clear and there's a reason I used that loadout because I just think it's really really good in this. There I was just checking to make sure I had put my other chest piece on so I had max resilience and some resistances. So this part uh, you're just gonna have to get used to it. I do get booped but on Hunter you can save it. So yeah like I said uh, Xenophage is really good through here and then I've got a Kinetic Tremors um, uh, Supremacy, sorry, the name was escaping me, from the Last Wish Raid. Uh, it's really nice. Bait and Switch is higher damage, but these bosses are a little tough to hit crits on sometimes. So yeah, I went with Kinetic Tremors. And it's just, yeah, it works really well too. And then yeah, so the Dragon's Breath loadout in my last video. Dragon's Breath is absolutely awesome for this mission because it does big damage on those bosses. And what I'm actually gonna use on the final boss is anarchy because again we just kind of hide from the bosses and shoot a couple anarchy shots and that's like i said where you'll have to forgive me my anarchy aim is absolutely horrible in this run i haven't used anarchy in a long long time so i thought it'd be fun to bust it out and see how it performs and then yeah sniper rifle and then a hand cannon like i said hand cannons are just so superior like, you can use an auto rifle, or I don't even know what you use besides hand cannons. Like, they're just the best legendaries. Legendaries don't really feel good in the game right now. So yeah, I would just recommend a hand cannon. Even, it doesn't have to be solar. I just run solar because I have Ember of Empyrean on in this build. Um, so I can extend my Restoration and Radiant, even though I messed that up a few times too in this run. Like I said, it's not the best gameplay. But I wouldn't say this is off meta per se, but it wasn't like the top meta. Like that Titan build is a really, really good build. So here I'm just waiting for the adds to spawn. And then we're just gonna throw our grenade, get a melee kill. Now I should just be meleeing all these guys. Don't waste your Xenophage ammo on them. 
and then I can't hit a crit to save my life. And I'm just so used to like explosive payload. So I was just trying to hit him in the body. But yeah, there you can see the power of Xenophage. With Radiant, it was able to one-shot those guys. And um, because I'm Radiant, the anti-barrier can go through all those shields. So super, super good. Like, look how easily it just clears that room. It's, it's awesome. Uh, so these guys, I probably shouldn't be wasting Xenophage ammo on either. There, I have a marks or yeah, marksman dodge, but I do switch to gamblers in the boss room because I hate reloading Xenophage, but reloading Anarchy isn't so bad. So here we're just uh, seeing some trust gameplay. It's pretty nice. I uh, so my first run, I think I broke like all the blights, but you don't have to kill all the blights. You just have to kill all the enemies. So there's a tip for you if you didn't know that. I still have some resto going, so I'm just gonna pop some xenophage shots unfortunately i missed one missed two so like i said if if you're not missing man it's been a long day i made a few videos i grinded a lot uh, i've been up for a while it's just you know you're not always perfect that's fine um we're human too so yeah there i was in bad position to take out that knight and then i lost my resto and radiant unfortunately and i don't have a grenade so I proc Radiant on him, and then I'm like, oh, maybe I can shoot through the Blight because anti-barrier. You cannot. So that's also something good to know. Uh, so yeah, I wasted a lot of Xenophage ammo. Way more than I thought. But remember, I would have only had 28. Instead, I had 34 because of that Solar Reserves trick I did. So I would have actually been out of ammo. So that Knight would have been a bit more annoying to kill. And then I just used my Sniper. There we get a Kinetic Tremor proc. So double body with kinetic tremor was just able to kill him. And I'm keeping a couple xenophage shots just for these phalanxes that spawn behind me. So what I do is I take a couple of these snipers out, give them a little jiggle peek there. I missed the crit, but I'm still turning around anyways. Don't know what I hit there, could have been the edge of the blight. So now I used up all my xeno ammo, which is unfortunate because if I had some, I could like melt these guys quickly. So I'm like, oh, that's okay, I'll just do a super. Well, that super was freaking horrible. I do get a ton of super energy back, but like, look, I took out like no scions. Just, yeah, like I said, the freaking gameplay in this was not very good. So then I don't see the, uh, the damage boost from solo operative on the left. That's one thing. I did a breakdown of the Bungie reveal stream. If you want to watch it, just going in depth over everything that they show for the gameplay. Uh, and that's one nice thing. The UI is different. So your like cooldowns are on your right, your buffs are on your left. So yeah, um, I'm really excited for that. Like Fire Sprite would be on your right, I think. Just the whole UI needs a rework. I was trying to use Lucky Pants in, um, in Onslaught and I never knew when my timer was up on, on Out of Luck or whatever. It's just really annoying. So anyways, I finally got those Scions down. That was painful. And then we're just gonna take these guys out. So again, if I didn't miss like five or six Xenophage shots on the way to here, Xenophage absolutely wrecks these guys too. Or if you get lucky with like one ammo drop. But there again, you see, this is why shards is so nice. Like obviously I was gonna go Celestial Nighthawk. It's the goaded build this season. It probably slaps. I haven't ran it in here, but I'm sure it absolutely deletes these bosses. But I just thought it'd be fun to run something different. So now I have a triple arc reserve chest piece, so I swapped that. And then I throw on arc weapon surge, just in case, uh, just to get a little more damage out of my anarchy. I swapped back to the wrong chest piece, so there. I've got my 100 rezil chest piece. Gonna reload my anarchy. And then this part is really messed up too. Uh, the enemies teleport a lot on me in this boss room. So I actually like primed all those because the bosses are gonna come in. And what I wanted to do was stick them with anarchy, but like look at this what the fuck like it makes me mad just watching it back even just i just hate teleporting ads in this game it bothers me a lot because yeah because of reasons like that so anyways uh here's where my shots are just horrible there's a whole bunch of ads there what i should have done was thrown down a healing grenade at the back here and just uh shards all those enemies but instead i do the ones on the right but yeah i should have done the ones in mid so we get a couple anarchy shots and like I said this isn't the best gameplay it's pretty slow I'm just 
trying to stay safe and pick my spots, which you have to do sometimes if you're going for a solo flawless. Well, like I said, it's not always going to be perfect. I would probably recommend... What's, I always want to call it Hothead. Dragon's Breath over this uh, Anarchy. But maybe it's just because I missed so many shots with Anarchy. But yeah, I just love Dragon's Breath. It's just excellent. So yeah, basically I'm just using the cave and just, like I said, picking my shots. Dip out, get a couple shots. He's stuck. So then we get Revitalizing Blast with uh, our melee and that gives us Radiant. So now our Anarchy is going to be doing 1.25 times 1.15. So whatever that is, quite a bit more damage. So now I'm just kind of taking out some ads. He moves around. Then I get huge screen shake, but I do manage to hit in three shots instead of two, but that's all right. And yeah, this is what a lot of this mission is <clears throat> if you're going for solo flawless. So the point of this build, yeah, he does get down Mr. President, takes the anarchy shot. I'm missing like crazy. So, yeah, like I said, not the best gameplay, but <laughs> I know I call it solo flawless, but it's, it's definitely solo deathless. This was a very flawed run. But yeah, uh, what I was going to say is pretty much anytime your super's up, that's when you want to be casting it and uh, hitting the bosses. That's kind of the point of this build, and that's why I wanted to pair it with Anarchy, just because damage over time is still like... See, I don't know how that second shot missed, but it did. And then even that one, like, man, I was just bad on Anarchy today. Maybe it's because Take can just jump around. I'm going to use that as my excuse, or maybe I was just missing horribly. So then I'm like, okay, I'm not getting any orbs in here, so let's just go with Arc Scavenger because I'm starting to get low on Anarchy. So that's one nice thing with this, uh, with this mission, is you can swap your loadouts. So... Like, if you want to do a bunch of loadout swaps, absolutely feel free. And the little trick I do with the reserves, 100% recommend. Uh, there's no reason not to do that. Like, if you're not into loadout swaps, sure, but always at least rally with more ammo. So again, you can see I almost have a super back. And look, it's just ticking up, ticking up, ticking up. That's why Anarchy is so good. And that's why, like, just damage over time in general in Destiny is good. So I threw down that healing nade just because sometimes you're exposed when you're up in the air and that night boss was on my left. So yeah, I threw down that healing nade <clears throat> just to be safe. Here, I'm trying to get <laughs> hit the boss. Maybe, I don't know where that anarchy went. So these minotaurs actually do come in the cave, I found out. So <clears throat> be cautious of that. I didn't know that they do. I thought I was gonna proc kinetic tremors there, but I didn't. Just can't hit a shot to save my soul. These guys are in biz, but still. So yeah, just trying to take them down slowly. Use a gambler's dodge, get my melee back. Let's proc Radiant. <clears throat> Sorry, jeez. Yeah, like I said, this gameplay is not great. So this, like this hand cannon is rapid hit frenzy. So it's not a bad roll, but uh, Sally's Bane is just better. <laughs> so again, I miss my first anarchy. So then I have to waste a bit of sniper ammo because I just want him down. I'm sick of his little orbs that come at me. And then again, we're getting close to a super because pretty much every time we cast our shards, be it on a group of adds or on a single target, we're getting like half our super energy back. I can't believe how good shards is, honestly. There, I hit shoot and it didn't shoot. Um, that was really weird. So then that kind of threw me off. And then we're just putting in some damage. So right there, I had a good look. So that's where the bait and switch um, supremacy could be good. Again, I miss another freaking anarchy, dude. And another, oh my God. Yeah, this is just bad. I am sorry. Whew. Yeah, look, he's like still big health and I just, wow, brutal. So he should be dead if I could hit like any type of anarchy shots. Just trying to proc kinetic tremors on him. I know I have heavy ammo out there, thank god. If I didn't have heavy ammo, this could have been like a pretty tight run. But uh, luckily, you might want to run... Actually, I would recommend heavy ammo finder. I didn't have it on, 
So the build I have, I didn't really optimize. This is just, I made a Shards of Galinar build. I cleaned out my vault a little while ago, uh, like a week ago, because I knew we were getting all these into the light weapons. So I had like a few good rolls of things like Shards of Galinar or whatever, certain exotics. So I kind of made like preset builds, but not like perfectly optimized builds for like the whisper mission or like a certain mission it's just kind of an in general one so i have dynamo and hands-on just to further increase my super gains because dynamo you get it for dodging near enemies hands-on you get it for melee kills which you also get just from shards to begin with so it's really good and then i have triple heavy-handed on the on the gloves so every second that i get a knife kill i'm gonna make orbs which you'll see here with the Shadow Thrall. It's the Shadow Thrall, it's actually this phase, which is why I thought shards would be so good, because the Shadow Thrall constantly rush you, so you could just farm uh, melee kills off them, which you'll see me do to get a super. But yeah, it's really good. There, I miss, God, I miss a lot, actually. So finally, we get that guy down, and then, yeah, we're gonna get two Anarchies, and then uh, we have Heart of the Flame, so when we pop our Solar Super, we get Radiant and Revitalizing Blast, so we're debuffing them. So that's why I shot the two Anarchies before. Just get that on, and then you're going to be doing a lot of damage. There, I only shot one for some stupid reason. Again, I had the debuff and the buff on, so I should have shot two. And here is what I'm talking about, just farming these guys. So look, I keep... It's Stizzle generates Orb of Power, generates Orb of Power, and then we've got Wished into Being where when you're close to your super, it's gonna drop like three big juicy orbs, like the ones that give a lot of super energy. So yeah, you get like a lot of supers. So I think I even get another super after this one. And there's only three and a half minutes left. So I wasn't counting supers in the boss room, but it's a lot. And it's like, I'm still hanging on to it because his shield's still up. And I have to rotate here because I don't have any sniper ammo and I don't have explosive payload, so like look this this hand cannon can like barely do damage to the shield so i'm like yeah i'm gonna have to rotate uh if you do have to rotate i would recommend just waiting until you get a healing grenade and then once you have the healing grenade then go just in case that boss starts beaming you so i just rotate around so you don't have to take out any of the blights like i said so that is a big time save so we get that wizard down and now Maybe I don't get another super. I don't know. No, I think I do. So, two shots. Should be. Yeah. Finally, I'm hitting some shots, but I mean, he's a huge fat ogre, so if I was missing on him, then Jesus. So, we're gonna just try to stick him some more for that passive um, anarchy damage. And, sorry, the passive super gain. And yeah, just look at my super meter. This time we get a couple... Next one will proc wished into being. There he is. Boom. Super back. So this is exactly why I wanted to try shards. Because I I just wanted to see how it was. And it's actually really good. If you can like farm melee kills with the setup that I have. Uh, yeah. It's an excellent build. The gameplay wasn't very good. But the strats were. Trust me. <laughs> so um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And take care.